The MAM-7 to AM-48 Chaparral was an American self-propelled surface-to-air missile system based on the M-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile system. The launcher is based on the M-113 family of vehicles. It entered service with the United States Army in 1969 and was phased out between 1990 and 1998. It was intended to be used along with the M163 VADS, the Vulcan ADS covering short-range short-time engagements and the Chaparral for a longer-range use. Development, Morla starting in 1959 the U.S. Army MICOM began development of an ambitious anti-aircraft missile system under the Forward Area Air Defense Program, known as the MIM-46 Morla. Morla was based on a modified M113 chassis carrying the large rotating A-frame rack on top with nine missiles and both long-range search and shorter range tracking radars. Operation was to be almost entirely automatic, with the operators simply selecting targets from the search radar's display and then pressing fire. The entire engagement would be handled by the fire control computer. In testing the Mauler proved to have numerous problems. Many of these were relatively minor, including problems with the rocket motors or fins on the airframe, but others, like problems with the fire control and guidance systems, appeared to be more difficult to solve. Army strategy from the mid-1950s PENTANA study was based on having embedded mobile anti-aircraft capability, and Mauler's delays put this entire program in question. More worrying, a new generation of Soviet attack aircraft was coming into service. For both of these reasons the Mauler program was scaled back in 1963 and alternatives were studied. IFAADMICOM was directed to study whether or not the Navy's AIM-9D Sidewinder missile could be adapted for the ground to air roll. Since the Sidewinder was guided by an infrared seeker, it would not be confused by ground clutter like the radar-guided Mauler. On the downside, the missile required some time to lock on, and the current generation seekers were only able to lock onto the tail of an aircraft. MICOM's report was cautiously optimistic, concluding that the Sidewinder could be adapted very quickly, although it would have limited capability. A new concept, the Interim Forward Area Air Defense, evolved around the Sidewinder. The main concern was that at shorter distances the missile would not have time to log onto the target before it flew out of range. So to serve this need a second vehicle based around the M61 Vulcan cannon was specified. Both would be aimed manually, eliminating the delay needed for a fire control system to develop a solution. Neither vehicle concept had room for a search radar, so a separate radar system using Datalink was developed for this role. The studies were completed in 1965 and the Chaparral program was begun. The first XMIM-72A missiles were delivered to the U.S. Army in 1967. Ford developed the M730 vehicle, adapted from the M548, itself one of the many versions of the widely used M113. The first Chaparral Battalion was deployed in May 1969. A small target acquisition area radar, the AN-MPQ-49 Forward Area Alerting Radar, was developed in 1966 to support the Chaparral Vulcan system. Although the FAAR is transported by the Gamma Goat and thus not suitable for use in the FEBA description, the MAM-72A missile was based on the AIM-9D Sidewinder. The main difference is that to reduce drag only two of the fins on the MAM-72A have rollerons, the other two having been replaced by fixed thin fins. The MIM-72's MK-50 solid fuel rocket motor was essentially identical to the MK-36 Mod 5 used in the AIM-9D Sidewinder. 
the MIM-72 missile is launched from the M-48 fire unit, consisting of a M-730 track vehicle fitted with an M-54 missile launcher capable of holding for missiles ready to fire. The M-48 carries an additional eight missiles stowed. The MAM-72A like the minus 43 Finnish Marcus Red Eye uses a first generation infrared seeker and can be fooled by flares and hot brick jammers, such as the L-166 IRCM unit fitted to the Mi-24. Also the missile needs to be able to see the hot exhaust of an aircraft, making it a tail chase only missile. A similar B model for training was identical to the A model with the exception of a different warhead fuse. The C version of the missile, from 1974, has an improved guidance section that gives the missile an all-aspect capability, as well as a new Doppler radar fuse and an improved warhead. The fuse and warhead were adapted from the earlier Mauler program. C models were deployed between 1976 and 1981, reaching operational status in 1978. An experimental D model used the warhead from the C version with the seeker from the A model, but was not deployed. A naval version of the missile was also developed, based on the C version of the missile, the RIM-72CC Chaparral. This was not adopted by the U.S. Navy, however it was exported to Taiwan. The Chaparral system is manually fired by visually tracking the targets, slewing the missile carrier into the general direction, and waiting for the missile seekers to lock on to the target. It is not suitable for engaging helicopters, popping up behind cover, for instance. In 1977 Ford and Texas Instruments started a project to give the Chaparral a limited all-weather capability through the addition of a FLIR camera. The test firings in 1978 also used a new smokeless motor, which greatly improved visibility after firing and made it much easier to fire follow-up rounds. The testing proved successful, and the FLIR upgrades were carried out in September 1984. Existing missiles were upgraded with the new motor to become the MAM-72E, while new build versions were known as the MAM-72F. A final upgrade adapted the greatly improved Seeker from the minus 92 Finnish Marcus Stinger to the MIM-72. Starting in 1980, the Stinger Seeker is considerably more capable in terms of off-axis sighting, as well as being able to reject most common forms of jamming. Ford was contracted to deliver the resulting MAM-7 to G starting in 1982 and all existing missiles had been been updated by the late 1980s. New build G models followed between 1990 and 1991. By this point in time the system was already being removed from regular army service, and being handed over to the National Guard. Two export-only versions of the MIM-72 were also built, the MIM-72H which is an export version of the MIM-72F, and the MIM-72J. A MIM-72G with a downgraded guidance and control section. The missile cost approximately $80,000 and M48 fire units $1.5 million. Variants MAM-72A Chaparral Original Production Missile MAM-72B Training Missile MAM-72C Improved Chaparral Featuring an improved and DAR-1 guidance section M817 directional Doppler fuse and AM250 blast fragmentation warhead. These enhancements gave the missile an all-aspect capability, produced between 1976 and 1981. It entered service in November 1978. Range improved to 9,000 meters. RIM-72CC Chaparral, naval version evaluated but not deployed by the U.S. Navy. Adopted by Taiwan, 
MAM-7 2D experimental missile that was cancelled before production, MAM-7 2E MAM-7 2C missiles retrofitted with a new M121 smokeless motor. MAM-7-2F new built missiles with upgraded M121 smokeless motor. MAM-7-2G fitted with a new and R2 based on the Seeker in the minus 92 finish Marcus Stinger giving improved resistance to countermeasures. This was retrofitted to all Chaparral missiles during the late 1980s. New missiles were produced between 1990 and 1991, MAM-72H export version of the MAM-72F. MAM-72J downgraded export version of the MAM-72G. M30 inert training missile. Operators, Chile 28 units purchased in the 1980s. Being phased out, Egypt, Israel, Morocco, Portugal, Taiwan, Republic of China Marine Corps, built on M113 chassis, Republic of China Navy, installed on Lafayette class frigate Newport class, Tunisia, United States, United States Army, all units removed from service by 1997. General characteristics, length 2.90 meters, wingspan 63.0 centimeters, diameter 127 millimeters, launch weight 86 kilograms, speed Mach 1.5, range 500 to 9000 meters, altitude 25 to 4000 meters, guidance passive infrared tail chase only. Motor MK50 solid fuel rocket motor for 4.7 S. Warhead 12.2 kg MK48 continuous rod warhead.